What happened particularly in the fourth quarter? What do you mean? Well, you guys couldn't score and they couldn't score. And for, for about five minutes stretch there, the only points were your free throws. Was it just teams missing shots? Did the defense get better? What do you, what, from your side, what do you think happened? Uh, we had good looks at times. Um, it just didn't go down. You were able to get a triple-double. Kuz got it going there in the middle. Um, was there anything offensively that you guys could have done differently, or was it just one of those nights? Um, there's always things that you can do differently, both offensively and defensively. Um, I know they were, I want you to relook at it, but this is a tough, uh, tough loss for us. What needs to change for this team? Uh, I don't know. I mean, once again, we was able to a lot of our bodies uh, tonight. Uh, we had to shorten our rotation up. Uh, we didn't have consistent play from um, you know all facets of the game, you know, offensively and defensively. You know, we jacked up a lot of our coverages to start the game. Then in the third quarter, we jacked up a lot of our coverages again. So. It was always playing um, uphill, uh, like we've been doing as of late. So, um, gonna be a lot better. Brian, you got like, a lot of young guys on the team who haven't made the playoffs before. Yeah, as the leader of the team, how do you get those guys in the right mindset for the second half of the season? Um, you know, there's just a little sense of urgency every game. How important every game is. They've never played. Some of the guys have never played a playoff game before, so you can't can't uh, you know teach them that. Um, but. You know, it's very important to understand how important every game is, no matter who you're playing and where you are. Outside of the physical rest, what should be the priority for this team mentally over the break? Uh, well, you got to decompress and get away from the game uh, for a little bit. Um, those guys have a lot more time than I, than I will, obviously. So I'll be right back into it in two days. But um, you know, just, just get fresh, get your minds right, get your bodies right, come back uh, um, with the notion that we, you know, we're going to make the playoffs. LeBron, this is probably your last time on the floor with Vince. What sort of influence has he had on you, especially earlier in your career when you came into the league and just kind of the peak of his powers? Um, as far as inspiration, I didn't have, I didn't take much inspiration from Vince, um, but I've always admired his ability to do what he did on the floor. Um, so, I mean, just, the man would jump out out of any gym, and um, that you always kind of had that that wild moment when you saw Vince play. Um, but I didn't have much inspiration from him. I gained inspiration from other people. LeBron, you guys are averaging, I think you're giving up 35 points a quarter on defense. A month ago, you were seventh in the league in defense. Has something changed defensively? I don't know. I'm going to have to go look at that. Um, obviously, the number speaks for itself. Do you think with a younger team, the fact that uh, you're this close to the All-Star break, some of these guys may lose focus on the last game before the break starts? Um, that's a possibility. All of you. LeBron, you, you guys get back on break, you have 25 games. How close are you to the point where you start worrying about the playoffs and how is that getting close? Um, well, you, until you either make it or don't make it, that's when you worry about it. LeBron, we see you're, you're very in tune in hip-hop and in politics as well. Earlier today I saw you kind of tweet 21 out. Was that a kind of uh, a message to 21 Savage? And if so, what are your thoughts on his situation? Um, I don't know the, the, the whole situation. I don't know all the details, but I heard he was released. and. Um, I think it's great, uh, not only for him, but it's for his family, for the hip-hop community. Brian, last, last question, last please. Brian, you had 16 assists tonight. You was three away from your team for me, your career high. You made a lot of great passes. I mean, you come up short like that. That's nothing you think about, but a lot of the shots that was missed were great passes. Nah, nah my, I mean, for me to get 16 assists, my guys made shots. So um, at the end of the day, we lost the ball game. I don't care what I did individually. I, I can care less if I'm not winning ball games. That's what. That's what I'm all about, so um, I could throw that game in the trash.